gentlemen. Welcome. Thank you that you are interested in the cloud client portfolio from Dell Wise. So who, who is familiar with Wise? Who has heard something about Wise before? So some of you. So that um, I will give you in the next 45 minutes an introduction into um, the Dell Wise cloud clone computing story and the solutions. Maybe you have heard in the uh, news that WISE was acquired by Dell um, on the 25th of May. So Dell um, is very known brand and they were searching for a, um, a, a new uh, portfolio part in terms of cloud clients uh, in the desktop virtualization space um, because um, they had only, till, till now, they sold only hardware and um, services and they were searching for a partner uh, for that uh, completion of the story where you can deliver from the desktop over the monitor to the um, server and the data data center all uh, from one hand. So the existing partner channel over Atea Net Group, where you are familiar with, will be stable and will be the same still. So um, Dell has not acquired us and integrated, but we are a separate part. WISE is the w number one vendor of sync lines worldwide, um, the patent holder of the sync client and was, um, is 30 years, more than 30 years old. And as you see, there are a lot of vendors who sell sync clients and the IDC source 2012 tells us that WISE is the worldwide uh, market leader and together with Dell, uh, we have um, in all the four um, regions of the world, a huge um, uh, impact. Um, so the, the mega trends we are facing now um, in all our areas and spaces are on the one hand big data, so more and more information um, must be stored in data uh, storages Mass consumeration is another IT trend. Mass consumeration means Facebook, social networks, Twitter, and so on. And mobility, um, local-based services. So there are a lot of drivers in the new IT generation. Um, the consumerization of the IT in terms of mobile devices will go on. So 1.5 million, um, billion, um, milliarden is in German, billion, um, the smart devices will be sold until 2014. 20% more smartphones than PCs are already sold worldwide. And 500 million smartphones were purchased in 2011. So there is a huge trend in that new uh, area and that new generation of devices. So everybody of you has by, by certain uh, mobile device. Um, and this is also a cloud client. So also the applications are changing. So you, you know that um, we, are, we are working collaborative so with a lot of WebEx conferences. We have local based services. We have social networks and we have unified communication systems. All of that are changes in the, um, in the uh, applications we, where we have to work with. So, and the applications can become on the one hand more central. So years ago we started with the PC then we had virtual application, virtual desktops, and desktops as services. Um, and um, everything 
every data is stored in the local database, but local, we have also local applications on iOS or Android-based smartphones or devices, um, and that is that are the, tri the drivers of the cloud client computing. Uh, that means that the ID has to think about all that issues and all that um, um, new behaviors of the users and the clients they are working with. And when you are thinking of changing from a one-to-one, -one, a server PC-based um, network to a sync line based and a virtualized desktop virtualization uh, uh, based network, then there are many drivers why you are thinking about. So on one hand is you're migrating to Windows 7. That means why do you need to set up a PC with a Windows 7 locally when you have already virtualized the server with Windows 7? Then there is no need to have a local operating system, Windows, Windows 7. Then when you have to reduce costs, to reduce costs is a very important impact for all of us. The management tells us where well, we have to lower the energy consumption maybe, or we have to lower the cost of the desktop management system. Then security and compliance is very, very important for the companies. Um, there, is, there shall be no data lacks, there shall not, not be data loss. Uh, when the device is broken or stolen, the data is thus already stored in the local, in the central database. Then the productivity of the users is also very important, uh, that he can work from everywhere where he is on which space if he either is at home or in his office or on the road or somewhere else, from any time, anywhere, and everywhere, uh, any, anything you can connect uh, with your own device to your data center. So, I will introduce you the Dell Wise Cloud Client Computing Portfolio. Um, and tell you how we can face this and what WISE is presenting. So years ago, yesterday, there were huge uh, amount of PCs and notebooks and a small space for sync clients. Today, the world has changed a little bit, so more and more sync clients are sold. That, that means that WISE has a lot of, a big portfolio, not only hardware, but also software and services, where you, where I will go in deep a little bit. Then, when you use still the existing notebooks and your PCs, you have also a software which you can put on the devices and work like it's a sync client. Or when you bring your own device in your office and you work with your own devices from at home, from um, somewhere around, or um, when you are on the road uh, in the office, then you have also a portfolio for that area, which I will also tell you. So the DVS solutions, Server storage and network from Dell Wise brings you a complete end-to-end -end solution. So maybe you can find yourself as one of the users here. So there are typical user scenarios. Maybe a contact center, a business manager, who everybody has his data in the cloud and accesses to his PC maybe, or when he is on the way to his mobile device, or to his desktop at home, 
or he's a project manager, he is also uh, the connection um, over the cloud, and he is using several different devices and his own notebook and his own smartphone. And everywhere where he is and where he wants to connect, he wants to have his virtual space, his own virtual space, his own look-alike, which he's used to, not to change anything when he's on another desktop, or the home worker. So I'm a home worker because I have no fixed office, so sometimes I'm in a hotel, sometimes I work at home, sometimes I work from um, other offices. So I need to have access to my data wherever I am. So I can connect over my uh, uh, Dell Weiss notebook or I connect over my desktop at home or I connect uh, over a sync client uh, which I have um, and so there are different scenarios, and WISE brings you um, a lot of possibilities um, to, to connect to your data center and data space. So I will not go through every piece of hardware now. This doesn't make sense to show you the differences between the different clients. Only I want to give you a brief overview how big is the range of our clients. There are very cheap clients, which is the T-Class, for instance. Um, then we have the mainstream clients. Um, this is the new, the brand new D-Class. This is a dual core 1.4 gigahertz processor with uh, four USB and one DV display board and one DVI board. So a very small device um, and very powerful at the moment with Windows 7 embedded and or uh, with SUSE Enterprise Linux. This is the, the T, T class. Yeah, this is a very slim device. There is also a VESA uh, mounting kit um, as accessory um, uh, delivered in the, in the um, Liver, uh, when you purchase it, you can see it here. The T class is very specific because it's our first process, our first client, which has the Marvel ARM processor with the system on a chip on uh, on it. That means the same processor, like in the iPad 2, is built in that device, and. Um, um, as you know, that I, uh, the iPhone and the iPad is, um, has a lot of um, need of good picture and sound, then you can be sure that with that processor, you have also a very good picture and a good sound when you use it as a sync client. Yeah. Some project fe product features, uh, but um, you can come to my booth to uh, see the details in the expo area. So Weiss is well known because of his unique operating system. The operating system, SinOS, is a unique based um, operating system which is uh, the smallest OS worldwide with 1.3 megabit. That means you boot the device in seven seconds you need only three seconds to reboot when you have a new firmware on it. And there is no browser on it. There is no um, need that you have a huge management of the device. It's uh, managed by access and managed over FTP. You can put the new image on the FTP server and while rebooting the client, um, the new firmware is um, up and on, and it, this is the big difference because when you have everything virtualized, you do not need a local Linux or a local Windows system anymore. More than 60% of our clients we sell worldwide with CNOS or with the Zero Engine because many, many com customers have seen 
that it's very easily to manage, very easily to access, and very secure and stable. So there are two main key products WISE has uh, unique worldwide. The one product range is the SynOS series, and the other is the Zero Engine. The differences are that when you use the Zero Engine, you may know it maybe from Zenit and Zenit Pro and Zenit 2 series. This is a Zero client for Xen Desktop, where you have the Y Zero Engine and a dedicated HDX support on it. And when you use, so then you have only the ICA protocol and you can only uh, work with Xen Desktop. When you are, but when you use SynOS, you can have ICA, RDP protocol, yet you can also, in addition, work with terminal server or Xenet, or, and this is brand new, um, maybe in Barcelona in two weeks we will launch it, that will be the first client with CNOS, that will be the R-Class, R10L, which will have PCYP, RDP, and ICA on the CNOS. This is a very new, unique product then, uh, because the first, the very first product worldwide where you do not need a Linux or a Windows client to have all the three protocols and uh, you have a very slim device. So one slide according our different software on the client and the naming convention. You see there are a lot of different classes we have, TV, um, D, T, U, C, D, R, X, and Z class, and they are available with different images and different operating systems. CNOS is all time the number 10, CE running out because CE, um, Windows CE is not more longer supported by Windows um, some 30. Then we have two, U, two um, um, operating systems with Linux, the, that one are the SUSE Enterprise Linux, and we have one Ubuntu implementation, and the Windows Embedded and Windows 7 Embedded devices. Um, when you need a local browser, when you need local applications, or you need um, to work locally in addition. As we are now Dell, of course we have um, also some um, recommendations for um, which monitors can be used the best uh, with our sync clients. Please ask a data net group um, for assistance here because you can also purchase sync client monitor bundles as well over uh, your existing partner. So let's take a look at the zero clients. So we have spoken about the sync clients the sync clients have a local Im image and a local operating system. The zero clients do not have a local operating system. There is only a BIOS, there is only a zero image on it. So there is a, a, a spot of an image um, for uh, coming up, for booting, for connection with the keyboard and the display, and for to come to the credentials where you can put in your credentials and connect to your, um, to your server infrastructure. So we have here are uh, the zero clients for Citrix Xen Desktop. These three clients are the PCYP VMware zero clients with the old Terra 1 chip, and these two um, will have the Terra 2 chip on it. Yes, this, this is the same size like the T10, will be the P25. This is the first device which is already can be delivered with the new uh, Teradici chip, Terra2 chip with two DVI um, ports with USB 2.0 with PCUIP protocol. And the P45 which is coming soon, will have a possibility to connect four displays on one sync client with the zero client PCOIP. And this is 
The E series is a very special product for the school and education market, which is only working with the Microsoft MultiPoint server. Another point, product of our portfolio are the cloud clients. So cloud client is some, a little bit different to Syn and Zero client. You do not need to have um, a Citrix, Microsoft, or VMware with server virtualization. You can use, you can stream your applications and you can stream your image to the local PCs. That can be a standard PC or it can be a cloud PC from Vice where you can, you can think about it when you put out on the hard disk of a PC and put it here in an edge server and you boot from that edge server and stream your application and operating system to the end device. This is a very secure and easy connection because there is no footstep of an operating system on a BIOS on it. So there's nothing on it. It will be used, for instance, in the net or in the military resources, in the police departments. So in highly secure um, um, places and environments where you do not have to have any um, operating system locally. When you take a look, at our website, www.wise.com, um, and you go to Cloud PC Syn clients or Zero clients, you can see the parts of the portfolio. And when you put your mouse and take it to that gray quarters and pr uh, press the button compare, then you can see a list where you see the the different models and compare on your own where are the benefits for you. So, this was the hardware. Um, we cannot, we do not only deliver hardware and we also delivered different types of management software where you can manage your devices from one single point. We have spoken about zero clients, sync clients, mobile sync clients, <coughs> and you can, on the one hand, manage the, your devices with the WISE device manager, with the automatic client configuration. Um, you can easily, inst um, uh, easily uh, produce images for your devices and roll out it uh, over XML files. And uh, we have also a plugin for Microsoft SCCM um, uh, that you can connect your, to your existing management console. So, small, small overview. As I have told you, the device manager, the configuration manager, which helps you to configure um, the Windows embedded devices, automatic management. That is that what I told you, that you put it on the FTP or HTTP server to um, put there your local, uh, your new image, and in, in the moment where you reconnect um, and you reboot, it's automatically um, updated. And the plugin. There is a difference between the workgroup and the enterprise edition. The workgroup edition is delivered um, automatically, which is a free version, and the enterprise version has a lot of different features uh, which is uh, ready to purchase. You must purchase it when you have more than 750 devices. When you have not some 750 devices, you can use the workgroup version, or when you do not need the different benefits of the enterprise version. Another point is the virtualization software. Yeah, we are here now. The virtualization software means that um, five years ago, um, we have only sold hardware. And we thought that the thin clients will be the clue, 
and everybody will, see, will only purchase uh, sync clients anymore. But the user told us the better. The user said, okay, it's very interesting, um, but I'm used to have audio, video, graphics, flash acceleration. I can do a lot of different things with my PC. I cannot do it with my thin client. So we produced a piece of software which was called TCX. Yeah. And TCX um, is the optimized user experience in terms of that you can connect your USB ports, uh, that you have an optimal audio, a video, a flash acceleration on your sync line, so a look alike and a look and feel uh, like on a PC, but in using a sync client without losing any um, usability. And VDA, which is not the Microsoft licensing VDA, this is called Virtual Desktop Accelerator. When you have, for instance, branches in some parts of the world, in Europe, in Asia, in America, or somewhere else, then you have a latency over the net when you have only a server locally on one place. And the connections on the other parts of the world will, will have a latency when writing or using the mouse. With VDA, you can lower um, the uh, latency in RDP of around, uh, by around 30 to 40 percent, in ICA protocol uh, 5 to 10 percent, because ICA is very compromised, comprom compromised, compromised. So the cloud software. Um, the cloud software uh, means that uh, all of our um, portfolio um, will help you that you have an optimal uh, usage of the SYN, Zero, and mobile SYN clients, and you can use it in the best way you will, do, uh, will need it. Um, and the point of the cloud software is that um, maybe you have uh, already tried the free version of the pocket cloud uh, for your um, iPhone, for your iPad, or your Android-based smartphone. Um, this is when I talked about bring your own device. Everybody wants to connect with his own device also to the virtual server and the virtual desktop and will have his virtual desktop on his own client. Then he can use Pocket Cloud. When you have an iPad, go to the iTunes Store. When you have an Android-based um, device, then go to the Android market, put in uh, uh, right there Pocket Cloud, search for it, and you can download the free consumer uh, version of Pocket Cloud. That means that you can connect over an RDP connection to your virtual or to your physical machine. And you can, when the machine, when your physical machine at home or your virtual machine is on, you can have access over your iPad to your virtual desktop and can, have, can use your virtual desktop on the road. And Pocket Cloud Explorer, that was the best mobile application on the Mobility Congress in Barcelona this spring. With Pocket Cloud Explorer, um, when you put this piece of software on your notebook, on your sync client, on your smart device, on your home office PC, and all of the devices are on, and you search for a file, PowerPoint or a, um, a PDF or some document what you need and you do not find it on your uh, device which you have with you, then you can explore and search all that different um, computers and then you can, you can uh, Pocket Cloud Explorer will find it. You can put it on your 
mobile device, you can print it out, you can send it, you can email it, you can change it and everything. And this is a free application and this is our cloud software portfolio which helps you also to, inst um, to um, work with your own device in the same environment. So, half a year ago before um, so and one, one half a year before we were acquired by Dell, we purchased a Canadian company called Trellia. Trellia is a company who uh, produced the software um, for enterprise mobility management, where you can manage your mobile devices. This is a big issue and a big problem for the IT in the different companies, that they have now done everything for the safety. They have sync lines, they have PCs, which um, restrictions, they have done everything to protect the data. But now the yeah, users are coming with the, their iPad, their iPhone, connect over Pocket Cloud or Citrix receiver or something else to do their desktop and can bring in some um, um, applications which are not um, eligible for or, uh, or shall not be in the company, or they can put out data. And so the enterprise mobility management helps you to control that devices, um, and you have different possibilities. You have a cost control, you have a management uh, de uh, uh, device management, and you have an enterprise application store. That means when you have there the application, the, comp the, the user of the device can download the application from that application store, which is proven, which is um, ready to roll out, and he does not download from somewhere else where he shall not do it. Or the device managing management you can um, control and roll out and, and asset management, inventory management, you can send him the VPN connections and the Wi-Fi connections that he shall use to access. You have a cost control, that means you have a GPS localization, you can uh, care about the roaming problems um, which you have, m might have when you are outside of uh, your country that you uh, have huge costs in roaming and that is that what uh, we all, um, we, we have brought uh, together um, and we will bring together with our device management. So um, the next step we will do is the classic WISE device management to connect with the mobility management. There is a code name Stratos and this code name Stratos is uh, the, the project behind that, that we try to, to generate and to develop a platform where you can manage all your devices. It can be a zero client, it can be a sync client, it can be a mobile client, it can be an iPad, an iPhone, or something else. All can be managed from one entry point and from one console. So, the last 40 minutes, I have brought you an introduction of our different uh, clients and the portfolio we have for sync clients. When you have still a notebook or when you have your own device, when you have still a notebook, you can also use the PC extender. Uh, when you have only a, a PC or a notebook and um, these clients are already and will still remain in the company for the next uh, one, two, three years, but you, will, you have all, already virtualized. You can put a piece of software which is called PC Extender on your device and the behavior of the PC will be like a sync client. So you have a dual boot version, you can boot on the PC or you can boot on the sync client and everything um, goes in that direction and after one, two or three years when um, the PC shall be changed, 
then you can put a sync client there and the user does not feel the difference. So, that is, that was an overview of our portfolio. Um, Dell acquired WISE because of the endpoints we are, we have in the 30 year old story of WISE, um, the part of the desktop, the, the huge part of desktop virtualization solutions, um, every company uh, has to uh, think about the costs, the management, and the data security on the desktop. And with the portfolio of Dellwise in that space, we can by sure help you to um, make your um, user uh, and customer um, happy uh, with um, using um, the sync clients of WISE. So I will thank you very much for your attention. Are there some questions? Okay, then thank you very much for your time. I will be in the expo area all the afternoon time. And um, yes, I'm looking forward to see you personally and to answer your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.